Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Fallout 76. Atlantic City has dropped. So that means a whole bunch more goodies that we can buy for stamps. I did way too much grinding in the in the, in the lead up to the release of Atlantic City. I have way too many stamps. And let's just say that I was seriously ticked off that we can only see these plans right now. I was kind of expecting to see all the plans. My understanding was that you required about 1600 stamps to get all the plans. So, let me let me let me be very profligate with my stamp collection and let me buy every single item over here. And I'll show you what they look like. So you can see if it's worth your time. Hopefully my sacrifice hasn't been in vain. And hopefully somebody gets some use out of this. <laughs> anyway, let's go. Alright, uh, roulette paints. For anybody who doesn't have as many stamps as I do, you should buy from the bottom. Buy the cheapest ones first. Because every time you do an expedition, you're going to be rewarded with a random, with a random plan. So if you buy all the cheap ones, that means that the only ones left are the expensive ones. So... I should have started from the bottom. Anyway, I think I've got enough stamps anyway, right? That's a lot of stamps, buddy. It's a lot of stamps. Jesus. What do you do with all those stamps? Bloody hell. Anyway, I bought literally every single plan that he has. So what I'll do is I'll learn each plan and I'll show you what it looks like. So aside from the plans that I just purchased, I did end up doing one expedition. And that gave me the showstopper paint that you can see here. It's for the double barrel shotgun. So we can see the two dice on the stock, and I believe that's a spade from poker. Okay, so there you go, that's what it looks like. That's a showstopper shotgun paint. I got that one from an expedition that I ended up finishing. Okay, next up is the 44 roulette paint. And that's what the roulette paint looks like. It's got a nice bit of gold detailing and a bit of a roulette motif as the name might suggest. And in your hands, it looks like this. It looks very well with the dress, I have to say. Yeah, I think it would go very well with any kind of a dark attire. Okay, the next weapon is the overgrown assault rifle paint. Okay, this one actually looks pretty nasty. <laughs> it literally looks like the name, Overgrown. Okay. Oh yeah. How the hell does this gun still work? I don't know. Maybe it spits out flowers or something. Oh yeah. And in your hand, this is what it looks like. A couple of flowers in there, a couple of mushrooms. Oh yeah. Nice and green. I don't think I have the materials to do this one, the Deathclaw Gauntlet. So let me do the Missile Launcher. Okay, and this is what the skin looks like. Pretty much the same as the Assault Rifle. Got a couple of flowers, got some vines, got some thorns and some mushrooms. Hopefully this won't destroy the boomstick. And that's what it looks like in the flesh. Uh-huh. Can we chuck some flowers at the enemies? Go all hippie on them. <laughs> anyway, so it's got that uh, overgrown look, just like the name says. Okay, so let's ask the Deathclaw very nicely if it's willing to lend us a hand. I promise to give it back, lol. No hands! No hands! Bloody hell! Okay, let's see if this guy is willing to lend us a hand. Oh, look. It's legless. It's legless. Yes, Enforcer is super powerful, folks. If you've never tried Enforcer on a Deathclaw, give it a try. It's good fun. No hands. Oh, shit. <laughs> Alright, it took a while, but I finally found a willing Deathclaw. So, here we go. Overgrown Deathclaw Gauntlet Paint. But apparently you need two hands for a single death core gauntlet, so I'm sorry, matriarch. No claw again. <laughs> okay, 
After slaughtering a small legion of death claws, I still didn't manage to get a second death claw hand, so I guess we're not making a death claw gauntlet. We already know how those overgrown skins look like, so we'll just have to imagine what it looks like. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll be able to show it off or something, but uh, that's clearly a no go. Yeah, so let's move on to clothing. The first item is a season survivor outfit. Let's make that. Okay, and this is what it looks like. I believe this is one of those leather suits that those twins wear during that um, during that game, the second expedition to Atlantic City. I think that's the one. Anyway, it's basically a leather bodysuit. Got a few studs in the chest. But yeah, no, no accompanying headwear. Okay, next up should be the Snake Wrangler hat and the Snake Wrangler outfit. And here's what it looks like. It's basically a snake skin leather coat in a matching hat. This is what it looks like from the rear. And it looks like it comes with a matching set of spurs. Very cowboyish. And it looks like the last set of attire is a sunburst sequin dress. Okay, this is what it looks like. I believe this is what the final lady you meet wears. The one just after you finish the contest, right? She seems to be the leader of that gang. Hmm, very dapper. And with a matching set of our red shoes, golden shoes? Yeah, golden shoes. Okay, next up are the camp items you can build. So let me start with the aquarium pillar. You can find it under floor decor. And it seems to require some power. Right, so it looks like you just need to connect it up to the grid. It doesn't actually require power. But basically, you can see a whole bunch of fish inside. Can't actually do anything with the buttons. So this is purely decorative. But yes, you can see I have a whole bunch of fishes inside. Next up is the aquarium well display. That one's under miscellaneous structures. Yeah, it's a small metal whale sculpture. Mm, can't see anything inside there. Doesn't look like there's any functionality to it. So it's purely decorative. Next up are the card tables here. That's under tables. And it's basically a poker table. So it's a poker table. But you can't actually do anything with it. You can put... Uh, you could put some chairs around it. But you can't actually play a game. After that, there's a dice table, which should be the same, I'm guessing. And that one's also under tables. And just as I thought, it is... Oh, actually, no, you can actually bet on this one. You can actually bet on this one. Oh, look at that. There's games. I have no idea. Let's bet on something. Two. Try again, lol. Okay, I don't want to throw away any more caps away, but you can obviously play games on this table. Next up is a mechanical derby game. I'm guessing this is one of those games that gives you uh, a small stat increase. Two derby games, one is from, one is the existing one, and this is the new one actually. My fault. Let's take a look at that one. That one should be powered, yes it is. I seem to have got an achievement somehow. 100 caps, bloody hell. Oh, look at that. Okay, so you get to pick a lane. So it's a little bit more interactive. Boo hiss. This game cheats. This game cheats. <laughs> anyway, it's a little bit more interactive than the old one. And onto the roulette table. I'm hoping that this also gives you a game. And indeed, it's under tables as well. And yes, you can play. Let's try. Um, red. Possible pay at 100. Fine, let's go. Try again. Come on. <laughs> Yeah, I'm getting ripped off by my own games here. This is not right. <laughs> Who's the money going to? Certainly not me. So you can kind of set up your own casino, right? And I'm guessing that other people can come and play. Although I'm not sure how much the owner gets. But it is nice that there's a little bit of uh, functionality to these things. Right, next up is a sign. 
Oddly enough, it's under it's under floor decor. Aha, uh -huh, so it's not electric at all. It is decorative, but it's not electric. Hey, the sea is out of shape. Hmm. Not bad. Not bad at all. So if you want to make a statement, this is how. And next up are some slot machines. These ones will definitely be uh, money makers, I guess. Okay, and the slot machines are under floor decor. You may have to, like I did, have to swap between this and some of the other machines. There's two styles, but I think that functionally they'll do the same thing. Let me guess. Yes, that's right. You can actually play the games. Hey, I got my money back. Fancy that. And here's the game show sign. The signs are under wall decor, and you need some support in order to place them. So in my case, I just set up a foundation and uh, attached both types. Right, so you can switch them off. So there are two styles. Very dapper looking, actually. Then there's some mezzanine lights. And the mezzanine lights are under the light section, just above the lamp. Uh, and the mezzanine and the mezzanine lights are just and the mezzanine light no oh, and the mezzanine and the mezzanine lights are under the light section they need to be powered as well but they provide nice lighting which you can switch off as well very nice very dapper and here's a sign for the neapolitan casino the sign is under wall decor and it's pretty hefty you're gonna have to attach it to something but once it's on, it's a nice little bright sign. So you can attract the gamblers to your casino. Then there's the nightclub exterior sign, which I think is for Quentinos. Oh no, it's a separate one, okay. Quentino is its own separate sign. Anyway, let's check this out. The nightclub sign overlaps with the Atlantic City sign that we saw earlier. And yes, it is actually what's in front of Quentinos. It's the two saxophones that are in front of Quentinos. They essentially form an arch. Alright, so you need to provide three power, but once you do, it's nicely lit. You can switch it off, of course. There you go. But then, what's Quentino's sign? Right, so Quentino's signs are wall decorations, actually. Right, so the two neon signs, which you can actually, yes, turn off manually. There you go. Now let's look at the sea animal pillars. Oh, there's a lot. Okay, so seahorse, dolphin, sea animal, and starfish. An octopus. Okay, they can be found under floor decor. And there's four varieties. They're just decorative pillars. You can't actually do anything with them, but they've got nice little examples of sea life. Yeah, so octopus, dolphin, seahorse, and starfish. Now the slot machine podiums, and the podiums are in the floor section just under the slot machines. So you can actually put a podium, there's two styles, oh they looks like a natural lit. And on top of that you can add a slot machine. So there's two styles of podiums. Yay, I got my money back for once. And last but not least is the world's biggest slot machine. And true to its name, it's massive. It does require area power. Aha, uh -huh, yes, that's exactly the one you see at the casino. And we also have some plushies, lesser devil plushies. Okay, so there's three styles of different colors. Although 2 and 3 kind of look the same. 1 and 2 have the most contrast between each other. And 3 and 2 just have a color difference. So it's three different styles of plushies. They're based on the lesser devils that you meet during the, during the expeditions. And there you go. That's what it looks like when placed in the camp. So there you are. That's all the plans that you can purchase at the moment for stamps. 
and it cost me about 1630 something stamps. And I doubt that there's many people out there who've got that many stamps. So I recommend that you actually buy all the cheapest plans first and then do expeditions to get random ones awarded to you. So anyway, hopefully seeing what they actually look like will help you decide which ones you want to prioritize first and which ones you may want to skip. So anyway, thank you very much. Take care.